I'm going to show you how to capture information that's written out through the serial port from an Arduino uh, to Node.js. And the way that we're going to do that or achieve that today is we're going to use a module in Node called the serial port, serial port module. Right here I have the sketch you see. It's very simple. What it's going to do is it's going to write out through the serial. It's going to print this line, Stacy, and it's going to delay every second. And I've loaded this up onto an Arduino Uno, checked that it's running and it's printing it out. Um, and what we're going to try to do in Node is capture this actual information here. And so in that sense, if you wanted to build something like a RFID card reader, or you wanted to have input through arcade buttons, you can now start to capture that through the serial port and implement that kind of inputs that the Arduino gives you in your Node.js applications. And so the first thing, after you've loaded this, whatever your sketch might be onto your Arduino, we need to make sure that we have the serial port module um, installed. And so I'm going to go to my command prompt, and I'm going to go to my directory that I want to work out of. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that module or request that module from the NPM registry, and I'm going to install it. And it's called serial port. And I'm going to save it locally here so it goes into a little node modules folder um, creates a listing there and as it starts to look for this module it's also going to look for any dependencies that this module itself might have and so often a uh, module might have other dependencies and you can see there's a couple listed here and it handles that whole process of making sure that all your dependencies are resolved so you won't have a problem running it now that i have it um, installed what I can do is I'll go into my main.js file here that's going to serve as my kind of little node application and I need to import or require that module that we just got and after I have done that I'm going to create a variable serial port that is going to reference this module library so that I can create an instance of it. And the only other variable I'm going to declare at the top here is port name that I'm going to pass in through the command line. And so when I run this on the command line, I'm going to look for uh, this value to be sent through as well. And that way, if I unplug or you know plug in a couple Arduinos, I have a couple of those COM ports or whatever COM port I might be using. You see that I'm going to the process and then the args. Well, uh, the first argument that gets passed in when you execute Node through the command line is always going to be just Node itself. The second one's going to be the actual file you're running. And then anything after that is any of the other kind of uh, arguments you might pass in. So that's why I'm looking at number two here. Now I need to create an instance, and I'm going to call it my port, of this serial port module. And it's expecting the port name. And I can pass it in a little configuration object um, here. And one of the things I'm going to want to pass in is the baud rate, or set the baud rate. So I set the baud rate to be 9600 from Arduino. I'm going to want to also use that, that same baud rate. And that's the rate that uh, the bits are getting transferred across on the serial port. And so you want to make sure you have that consistent across. Um, 9600 is pretty pretty standard for Arduino work. If you need a higher kind of um, rate, it's usually because you're really doing a lot of processing, reading, and writing. And then I can set the parser. And so this library has two options, or this module has two options. And one is just you know reading the raw data as is, or the other one is you can say you can kind of format it a little bit nicer. And so you can use the read line. And so you just set the parser here. And I'm going to say read line. I'm going to add in, you know, that return and that new line here so that's formatted a little bit nicer. And after I have created the instance of a serial port, um, I'm kind of good to go. I just need to be able to handle certain events. And so the serial port has a bunch of events that you might be interested in. Uh, when you open the connection, when the connection is closed, if there's an error with the connection, of course, the most important one for us is going to be when data is sent. And so we can now assign some handlers and listen for these particular events. And so for now, I'm just going to do open 
and I'll create um, a handler or a function that's going to handle that particular event. And then the next one I'm going to do is going to be data, and it's also going to handle any time we pass data through. So now I just got to create these functions. And I'm going to just, you know, put in a simple console log here, open connection. And then the next one I can do is going to be um, the data. And data here is obviously going to pass us some kind of a value. And I'm going to just log that out on data. And you can basically just do it like that. So I'm going to save this file. And again, I've only listened to two of the events. I'm going to go back to my command prompt here. I'm going to execute this from the command line. And so I'm going to go node main.js, because that's what I named this file. And I'm going to pass in that com port of 16. And if you don't know how to look up your com port uh, on Windows, you can go device manager. And you can see it listed right under here, and you'll see that my Uno is listed as COM16. And so I can pass that in. And I see that I'm getting an open connection and that I'm getting that data written back.